guys welcome back to my channel so today i know i'm excited to do every video but i'm particularly excited to do this video because i don't know why i'm excited i'm just excited i think it's because i've had i've had coffee i've had matcha i've had matcha i found this much i bought this matcha like last year and for some reason i just stopped drinking it and i forgot about it and then my housekeeper was cleaning and she was cleaning the cupboard and she found this and i was like <gasps> so i had matcha and probably that's why i'm so energetic but anyway so the last video i did not the one that i not the sunday not my relaxing sunday chat with me video the financial the last financial video i said these are some ways you can earn some money in jamaica and one of them was youtube and i said if you want to know about it just let me know and i'll hook you up child i'll let you know so guys when i read the comment section i saw so many like i don't think it's ever been that unanimous <laughs> teach us about the youtube thing i am going to do that my darling today i'm gonna do that in fact i'm gonna do you one better i'm gonna do two videos on how to get your youtube thing up and running first part a which is gonna be today i'm gonna give you some um i, I don't want to say tips they're tips but they're deeper than tips it's like you know let me teach you some marketing things and like how to do your channel and what to do and then part b is gonna be let me actually show you where to go and what to do type of thing that is how i teach in a money society so it's kind of seeping over into my youtube channel i like to teach the theory so um so that you know what it's supposed to be and then i show you the practical i guess it is seeping over but today as i said i'm gonna teach you some uh, um, it's not really theory it's the it's theory in high school sense where these are the things you need to write down <laughs> and then next week i'm going to show you what you need to do all right let me set the, let me just explain something to you i'm going to debunk something because when i first started youtube i started youtube about a year, uh, maybe two years ago i've been doing youtube i think for probably two years now and when i started youtube i did a lot of research because i remember you know guys i'm an evidence-based kind of person i love it data I don't like feelings I don't like vibes like that I mean I like vibes my personality is complex don't try to figure it out but in terms of business I like numbers I don't like vibes so when I first started YouTube I took the same approach I need to do some research I need to see what this thing is about and so you know I'd look for the major channels and then I would just assume that because they have so many subscribers their earnings were going to be massive i'm here to tell you that is not the truth right it's not about your sub it's not it's not always about the number of subscribers you have guys i'm telling you it's not always about the number of subscribers that you have so do not get discouraged do not think that oh you need to have a hundred million thousand million subscribers to make some money let me I don't know what I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like to about my business too though. I'm gonna like dish out my business, right? But unless it's the money in the money society. I don't have a problem dishing out my business in the money society child. But anyway, my point is this. I don't have 100 million thousand subscribers. And I, as I said, my channel makes over six figures Jamaican on a monthly basis, right? And it's me, post. I post two videos a week. And I don't have 100 million thousand million subscribers. So that's just to show you that you don't have to think that you know it's gonna take a decade for you to start earning some money and you're not gonna start you'll get discouraged don't do that okay don't do that not true i'm gonna teach you what you need to this is the first thing but i've already started teaching you that's the first thing you need to know okay i have my list here um because i'm organized yay for me for being organized thumbnail <laughs> anyway my first tip is this do not just start just because, right? Um, don't start just because you want to earn some money now and you're in a situation, in a bind, so you're gonna go start a YouTube channel. Don't do that. You need to have an actual reason to start. What I mean by reason, I mean, what's your purpose? What's the purpose behind you starting this channel? My purpose, for example, is I wanna educate as many people as possible on financial matters, right? so that's why you're gonna see majority of my content being financially related They're, they tend to be related to financial matters not all of my content is financial matter is financially related because this is not a financial channel this is an ana channel just that a lot of my personality has to do with money right 
So you need to connect it back to a purpose. And let me tell you why. I teach my clients this all the time. And I think I said this a little bit about this in, in my last video. Guys, if you do anything just for the money, the money isn't gonna stay and you're gonna be miserable. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to run it down all the time. You're gonna have to keep running. You're gonna have to keep running. When you run down money, you're gonna have to keep running. You're not gonna be able to stop. I use this example all the time. Guys, think of money as a baby, as a toddler. If you've ever been around a toddler, think about it. If you just, if you, if the toddler has like something in them hand and they start running and you run behind them, they are not gonna stop. They're gonna think this thing is a flipping joke and they're gonna keep running. That's money. But you see when you stand up still and you're just trying to mind your own business, the toddler will not leave you alone. It's money, right? So you need to have a purpose behind this channel. What are you doing? What's the point of it? Next, you need to pick a category, right? Because we have to do this very strategically now. You can't just do something on vibes and wing it now. You have to be very strategic. Pick a category. Hold on, I have my notes here because I did a little bit of research before I started the video, before I did the video. According to um, Google, there's a website on Google. Um, it's a Google-based website, meaning, you know, I think it's called Think Leads or something to that effect, but it's done by Google. Um, they've ranked the top categories on YouTube and the top categories are comedy, surprise, surprise, music, surprise, surprise, pop culture slash entertainment, and how-to information like when you're like educational videos like this one right so given these categories you're gonna pick one of pick something out of these categories pick a category out of these categories and you're gonna really research it you're gonna see if this is something you know you can commit to is this something that you can offer value can I buy a side channel just because you want money remember I'm telling you you can't just for the money you have to you have to be good at what you're doing and if you're not good enough to teach people or to share it with people, then you're not ready to do the channel. Go get ready. Go learn some more. Go better your skills and then you can start the channel. Don't just do it just because of the money. I can't say this enough. You're going to fail if you do it just for the money, right? You have to be good at what you're doing. And it, you don't have to be born good. Go get good. Go get good. And then you can start it. But as I said, pick a category because you're going to stick to it. Next. You need to niche down. When you pick the category, you need to niche down. I teach my clients this as it relates to business. Um, yeah, I teach about business in money society. You need to join the money society. Anyway, teach my clients this about business. And it's the same for YouTube channels. When you pick a category, you need to niche down. Niche down. Because when you niche down and you're good at what you do, you're going to become the specialist on that particular area. For example, let's say you are a doctor guys forgive the example i'm thinking i'm a spot and this guy pretty late but imagine you are a doctor fine you have many doctors and imagine you specialize in dermatology okay but imagine you specialize even more on just matters of um eczema and seborrheic dermatitis imagine you niche down even more to black women black men with seborrheic dermatitis so what's gonna happen is whenever you know a, the black to the black community with this problem, you are gonna be the go-to person. And I know it sounds like it's gonna be too small, but no, think about it. You're gonna be the go-to person for the whole black community, all of people who have this particular problem, right? You need to become the specialist. To become a specialist, you have to niche down and you have to know your thing. You can't just niche down and not know nothing because it never works. So you have to know what you do, and then you can niche down. You understand? Okay, good. Next, you're gonna find the top creators in your niche, worldwide. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you, you, it's, it's gonna take some work, but if you want good, you know, have to run. You're gonna find the top creators in your niche on YouTube, worldwide. And you're gonna make a list of them. And you're gonna go through, the, when I say go through them channel, you know, hey, I mean, I need to go through them channel, you know, go through the channel. Because you need to get an idea of who they are and what their channel is and what they focus on. You know, you need to get an idea of that. What's more, and this is where the banger is, you are going through their channel because you need to find their weakness. Every creator has a weakness. Every creator has a weakness. It not, not necessarily a weakness, but every creator has something that will not appeal to people, right? For me, for example, I know the posh people, and I'm not gonna relate to the posh people because half the time I'm in a t-shirt, I'm in a kitchen, in 
sometimes me in my next kitchen and it just no look posh so i know i'm not gonna relate to the posh people that's okay but as i said every creator has a weakness or uh you know just a group of people that you're not gonna appeal to so you need to go through these channels and um you need to find their weakness why are you finding their weakness you are going to find them to exploit them guys i'm not in a beat around the bush thing yes you're gonna find their weakness and you're gonna exploit their weakness you're gonna exploit 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 their weakness for example let's say you find a niche you find a creator that has good subs good viewership good subscriber whatever but you realize that they post very inconsistent they post on a very inconsistent basis let me give you a good story hey, oh, a long time may i watch youtube now you know do you guys know patricia bright and um i'm gonna remember the next woman name she's african she's also nigerian shirley 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 y'all remember shirley shirley was ahead of the pack you know it was patricia and shirley shirley was ahead of the pack but shirley posts very inconsistently uh six months past i should not post and she just pop up like everything normal patricia was always consistent so what would happen is that people who would subscribe to shirley and love her content they wouldn't stay with her because she's not consistent patricia who's consistent all of those subscribers would hop over to patricia's content what did patricia do she never she probably never took this approach maybe she did who knows but she exploited the weakness of shirley she probably never did it like oh mega sit down and exploit the weakness of shirley but that was shirley's weakness and she exploited it because you know she just did the opposite which was just very consistent it's the same principle not just with consistency but i just gave you an, an example maybe you know you find a creator who not posh you can go be posh if you have a posh personality you know what i mean find the weaknesses and exploit them i did tell you that it's from zero to hundred real quick find the weaknesses and you know, weaknesses and exploit them another thing is you're going to look at their strengths and you're going to mimic as many as them as you possibly can what do i mean by this do not be fake people aren't stupid people are not stupid people can detect fake from a mile away and that's why when we come from the channel here me say whatever me want to say because that's gen it that's genuinely what, what i'm thinking and who i am and how i am anybody on youtube who have met me on the road they can tell you i'm the same person because people can detect Ooh, people can detect fake from a mile away so let's say the strength of somebody is that they are wicked consistent you can mimic that that's not gonna affect your personality that's not gonna affect the quality of the material you're bringing you can mimic that um let's say they post outside and you realize that oh because they post outside with the palm trees in the back it's very calming and because it's very calming let's say it's a lifestyle channel people are you know they're logging just to hear the audio the new business with people i do because it's just so calming maybe you can go record outside it's not gonna affect your personality it's not gonna affect you and you know your artist authenticity so you're gonna just mimic their strengths as much as you possibly can next you are going to identify oh you're gonna have to identify your target audience and you need to spend some time on this okay spend some time on this who from before you realize i'm gonna even talk about starting the channel yet i'm gonna even reach starting the channel yet because you need to spend a lot of time figuring out who you're talking to figure out who you're talking to when i do speaking engagements if you notice the jobs that i've booked they're more or less like the same um how do i explain this like the same type of audience it's because the way how i present information and with my personality type it gets across to a particular type of audience and so before people book me they already established that you know she relates to this kind of audience you are going to do that but in the reverse in that you're going to say okay i want to build a youtube channel on this particular topic on this particular niche i should say and I'm gonna be talking, you're not gonna say a group. That's another that's somewhere that's another play uh thing that people get wrong a lot. You do not market to groups, you market to a person. You're gonna create your ideal uh uh viewer, and you're gonna operate as if you're only talking to this one person. So your ideal viewer is gonna be oh, you can use a range for like eight, oh, they're gonna be like between 20 to 25 you know she's she because you're you're appealing to females yeah you need to get specific she's gonna be doing this she, he's gonna be doing that he you know is in a a, a career 
or he's a businessman, she's a businesswoman. Like you need to, because I hope this making sense. Me talking to Janet, if I talk to Janet in a particular way, it may get through to her 100%. But if I talk to Bob in the same way, it may not get through to Bob. So why are you wasting time trying to talk to the whole world and you know that you're not going to get through to the whole world? You should just talk to the people, your ideal, your ideal viewers. Yes, you're creating the avatar of one person, but do you, I hope you realize that that one per, that one avatar you're creating is gonna actually fit the mold of many people. You have many women out there, many women between the age of the ages of 20 to 25, many women between the ages of 20, 20, 20 and 25 who are in careers or entrepreneurs or whatever. You see what I mean? So you, you may think you're limiting your market so much because you're only talking to one person, except you're not talking to one person. Darling, you're talking to many people, but all the people are the same, right? All right, this is to get your thing off the ground real quick. I mean, if obviously the bigger you grow, you're gonna appeal to more people, more different, um, you're gonna appeal to different types of people, that's okay. We're talking about getting your channel from zero to 100 real quick, right? We're talking about starting from scratch. You need to talk to one particular type of, of people. Is that grammatically correct? Wow, five years of law school. All right, next, oh, you need, oh, all right, this is a lot here. Um, let's talk about your content. Let's talk about your content. Your content needs to be very consistent. I know you hear this all the time, but consistency really is key. Consistency really is key. Guys, I got monetized in three months, I think. I wanna say three months. This was two years ago, you can't quote me on it, but I know it was, in my mind, because I'm an overachiever, I had set my own targets and I was like, oh, I was stressing for this and I was like, oh, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. And then I talked to other YouTubers and I realized apparently it takes like a year or so to, to, to get to the point of monetization, right? But I never business about that. I was just business about my own targets and my own goals. And my point is the reason why I was able to get monetized in that period of time is because consistency is key. Consistency is key. I'm telling you, all when the video them not do good, they need to still post, still post. You know, I do business about white name, white name, like um, crap, white name, view like number of viewers, number of viewers, like how much people watch the video. I'm not business about that, you know. I could tell you. In fact, one of my videos went to a hundred thousand. I think two of them went to a hundred thousand viewers. This video's name, but there's something wrong, and I never even noticed. I never noticed somebody point out that this is the first financial um, channel in Jamaica to go over 100,000 views. And I was like, really? Oh my God, go us. But I don't know because, you know, it's not about that for me. It's about consistency. It's about, I have to post a video on this day and this day and I don't care how the video I do in the business if people like it or people not like it. I mean, thumbs up it or thumbs down it. I mean, business. The only thing business about is um, the comment section in that, in so far as you know, your require your um, suggestions, your trolling comments and stuff. Have you met me? I'm probably gonna troll you back, but yeah, consistency is key. Okay, you have to trust me on this one. You need to pick days, and this is something that really helped me. You see, when you're a young channel, YouTube isn't gonna push out your videos like that because it's an algorithm, it's not gonna push out your videos because you're a new channel, you're a young channel. Are you gonna sit back and say, oh, I'm young, so I'm, uh, I'm growing slow? You're not gonna do that. You need to develop a YouTube family. What do I mean by that? When you start posting on, like, for example, every Wednesday and every Sunday, your YouTube family is gonna slowly realize that, oh, she posts every Wednesday and every Sunday. You know, I've never ever come on here and said, I'm posting every Wednesday and every Sunday, but people still DM me asking me. At eight o'clock, people still DM me. One time I posted a video at 8.30 on a Sunday and they're like, at eight o'clock, one to the video. It's because, you know, when you develop a YouTube family, they're gonna know Wednesday and Sunday. So what's gonna happen is on Wednesdays and Sundays, they're gonna go to your channel to find out what you had posted, if you post it. So you're, you're not relying on the YouTube algorithm to push you out there. The family already knows that you're posting on these days, so they're gonna come, right? But it all comes back down to what? Consistency. Next, um, all right. Treat your channel like it's a job, not just a job. But this is my mindset. You need to treat your channel like it's a nine to five job from which you are about to get fired. 
that's how I think of my YouTube channel. Like, oh my God, I've messed up so many times. My boss is going to fire me if I mess up one more time. And so when I don't want to record and I'm like, oh, I'm going to skip this Wednesday. You, you don't have any more chances, Anna. You don't have any more chances. You better get up off your ass and go record a video. You don't have any more chances. That's how you need to look at it. You can't treat it as a hobby. It's not a hobby. It's not a hobby. Guys, what if, what if, what if, I'm not saying this is a case. Nobody call me on this. What if your channel were to earn you 2,500 US doing two videos a week on a monthly basis? That's almost $300,000, probably over 300,000, I don't know. Yeah, that's over 300,000, right? Per month. What if? Comes back down to consistency, I'm telling you. Dum, dum, dum. All right. You, can't, you have to treat it, as I said, treat it like a job you're about to get fired from and it's a $300,000 per month job. You can't mess with that in Jamaica. And guess what? How you have to think of it is this is your second $300,000. So you're a 9 to 5, fine, you have a 9 to 5. But imagine you have this beautiful job where you only work twice a week and you get $300,000 and you are going to mess around? Mm -mm. Don't do it. Next. This is a big thing for me. Um, because I think, because I'm a coach, and because I'm, I have a type A personality, this is a big thing for me. You need to plan your, con you need to have a content board. You need to have, have you plan your content. You may not stick to it because I don't really stick to my content schedule, my content board. I have my content board so that I never run out of content. But what happens most, guys, I have videos that I've recorded that I haven't put out. You know why? Because exhibit A, I did a video and people are like, oh, let's do the YouTube one. I'm gonna record a YouTube one. But what happens is that suppose somebody never said them wants to the YouTube one. Mega sit down and I say me don't know what mega record or mega talk about. No, I just go back to my content board and I see what I have to talk about. And because of my mindset, because I'm a financial coach, time is money for me. That's how I think. Time is money. Time is money. I don't wanna sit down for one hour try to figure out what for talk about. I wanna just, oh, I have 10 minutes now. Let me just turn on the camera. Let me see what I'm supposed to talk about. Bam, turn on the camera. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to my channel have a content board trust me it helps you another thing to determine if you have a good niche is if you don't have enough content for at least four months then different niche you're gonna run out of content and you're gonna have to change the direction of your channel which may shock your subscribers so before you start it if you don't have enough content for at least four months let's say you're posting twice per week twice per week time so two times four weeks eight eight videos eight times oh that's the dry up if you don't have oh, that's a dry on anyway if you don't have enough content don't you need to change your niche if you do have enough content you're going to proceed to my next step you need to re, um research how your ideal how your avatar your ideal viewer would want to hear or receive this kind of content and you're going to frame and develop and design your content around how they would receive it best for me for example my subscribers on youtube receive my content when i am just like i'm just talking to you regular as you notice my videos are, are very they're not edited that much they're edited here and there and it's very intentional is because i want to just talk to you why because when i'm teaching you about balloon payments which can be very boring you're going to receive it a lot better if i just talk to you i'm just a reason with you right that's how my ideal viewer would receive it so you need to Think, remember I tell you that's why it's important why we keep coming back to it you need to figure out how they're gonna receive it and you pr you you proceed accordingly um, next when you're planning your content you need to plan everything one time I take uh, one session per month and I sit down and I just plan everything one time the topic I break down the topic I don't write a script I don't use scripts but you know break down the topic like go to the talking points what outfit am I am I gonna wear an outfit you know um and how i do it i don't think about what am i go am i gonna wear an outfit i look at my actual calendar to see all right if i'm gonna record on this day i have meetings in the morning so i'm gonna be dressed businessy all right so i need to change my outfit because my channel isn't businessy that's what i mean plan your outfit but maybe you need to plan out your whole if you're a lifestyle channel you need to plan your whole outfit <laughs> for example um, plan the background, everything, so that it's easy to produce your work. It's easy to just turn on the camera and just start. You just go at it. You don't waste time because time is money. Thumbnail. <laughs> uh, next, guys, this video is way longer than I expected, but we're going to keep going. Um, batch record. 
uh, batch recording content, um, you can, I don't most times. I mean, I do, and what happens is that I'm going to post a video then, but come and get one next idea, I'm going to just want to post that idea there. But if you are strapped for time, really, really strapped for time, batch recording content. Um, in terms of editing, I wish I had something fun to tell you. I use iMovie, but you can't listen to me too tough because I don't really edit my videos. I don't know how to put pop-up things on my thing. I don't know how to do that, but everything's on YouTube. So we'll research it on YouTube. Just make sure, because I just want to say to you, don't have acid. Just do it properly. Just do it properly. If you're not going to do it properly, don't do it at all. Period. Um, lastly, use your other socials to drive, your con drive content to your YouTube page, especially because it will be new. So you need to do artwork for your Instagram. You need to do artwork for Pinterest and drive channel to your YouTube channel. Everywhere you go, you must say I talk about your YouTube channel because hello, this is a three hundred thousand dollar month work. You got it because I pride you not tell people them to go watch a video when a three hundred thousand dollar month work. Did you know? You can't, guys, imagine people in Jamaica who have like five hundred thousand subscribers and their viewers. Sorry, their viewers actually watch their videos because that's what it comes down to. You can't vote for subscribers, but nobody now watch your video then. So if you are vote for subscriber and I'm watching a video, can you imagine earning like 10,000 US, 15,000 US on a monthly basis? When I say I want to reach out video and just slap in it back if you have been this kind of person. This is the last thing we're going to talk about. Um, next week, we, as I said, this video is 26 minutes long so far. I can't keep going. So next week, we're going to pick up the practical part of it. All right. I'm going to go teach offshore banking in the money society. I love offshore banking. Love. So I'm going to go teach it now. Well, I'm going to teach it in an hour. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you in my next video. Bye.